Hello everyone, welcome to Holy Week, day three. This is Tuesday and I am out at the beautiful state park. It's gorgeous here. Hey, on Tuesday of Jesus' last week here, he gave us a very important message. I wanna read something to you from Mark chapter 11, starting in verse 20. Jesus is walking by with his disciples, walking by a fig tree the night before that he had spoken to and um, Peter calls it cursed. And now in the morning, they pass by that fig tree that Jesus spoke to, and it was completely withered from the roots up. Peter remembered and said to him, teacher, look, that's the fig tree you cursed. It's now all shriveled up and dead. Amazed. They're amazed at what happened so quickly to this fig tree when Jesus spoke to it. Jesus replied, let the faith of God be in you. Listen to the truth I speak to you. If someone says to this mountain with great faith and having no doubt, mountain be lifted up and thrown into the midst of the sea and believes that what he says will happen, it will be done. Wow, faith. He's speaking about faith. Something happened to that fig tree and he says, I want you to see right here, this Mount of Olives that we're walking by. You can speak to that and it can be cast into the sea. I have no doubt that if Jesus spoke to that Mount of Olives, it would have moved and be cast into the sea. But really what he was speaking about, I believe for us as believers is obstacles, insurmountable things, huge situations that, we, that are seemingly impossible, that Jesus wants to instill the faith in us and grow the faith in us that we can see those things move when we bring our faith into alignment with his word through prayer. But there's a three strands. There are three strands. This is a trifecta that's happening in this passage of scripture. First is the faith. Second is the prayer to accompany that faith. And third is this. And whenever you stand praying, if you find that you carry something in your heart against another person, release him and forgive him so that your father in heaven will also release you and forgive you for your faults. But if you will not release forgiveness, don't expect your father in heaven to release you from your misdeeds. How interesting that Jesus brought forgiveness right alongside of faith and prayer. It's a trifecta that needs to happen. God wants to release powerful faith in your life through your prayers, but we must make sure that we don't hold forgiveness or ought against anyone else. So today, if you're carrying any unforgiveness or even offense, which is the open door for, it, for unforgiveness to take root, get rid of that today. Ask Jesus to forgive you for your unforgiveness and you forgive that person. Sometimes it's an act of faith. You don't know how you can do it, but start today, ask him to forgive you. Let's do that together right now. Jesus, we ask for forgiveness, for unforgiveness we've held towards others or offense we've held towards others. We wanna see your power, your faith at work through our prayers. Lord, that insurmountable obstacles, Lord, that things that seem impossible, can be moved, can be cast aside. Miracles can happen because of faith in your word, Lord, to be accomplished, Lord Jesus, through our prayers. But Lord, we release those that we've had unforgiveness towards so that your faith, Lord, and your works can be manifest in our lives and through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed Tuesday, everyone.